matter where you are out there listening, we're in a space called God. And when we can say that and recognize it and know it and believe it, no matter what happens, I'm in a space called God. And so whether I'm over here done with this, that, or the other, or I'm up, down, whatever it is, I'm having a God experience because I'm in God's space. And when you stay there long enough and you and you become situated in that space or in that position, God exposes himself to us. I believe God is going to do some great things over these hours. I'm going to give you a scripture and I'm going to play a little music and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to pray with you, God's people. But Prophet Tony, I thank you so much. Oh, you don't know. It just... You know, sometimes, not sometimes, all the times, we need each other. And just that push, you know, that push, you know, and as she was speaking and, you know, and ministering and, you know, that you will be able to come on at three o'clock, four o'clock, eight o'clock, whatever the time it is, and hear something from Jehovah. And I believe God is going to do it. Why? Because we're in a space called God. And we're having a God experience. And God himself is about to expose himself to us. The Lord gave me for you, uh, with this 72 hours, fresh water. Now, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to do just a little tune of it. A little tune of it. And then I promise to come back a little later. I'm going to play some music and minister and, uh, and we're going to pray through the night. But uh, I, as the Lord prepared me for this 72 hours, right around April the 16th, the day after my Earth Day, birthday, whatever you want to call it, he put me on the water. And every day up until Friday, last Friday's past, I've been on the Delaware River. I would go out there probably around... 5 a.m. in the morning and I would stay there to maybe 4 or 5 o'clock at night uh, as opposed to when it rained and I would be in the middle of the river you know you don't stay in the channel and it, it got so funny that the Lord even gave me a boater operating license with the Coast Guard and all that so I was every day I was on the boat out there and just understanding, looking at the water and the creations and understanding the current and the wind and just in Yehovah's presence. Lord. And these words came to me. Now, I, this is a little song, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to be our theme for this 72 hours. Let me try to do this with you. Okay. Fresh water. Transformation takes place, it brings glory to God's name. Just a little bit. I'm just gonna just sing those words just a little bit with you. You know, I wrote so many songs while I was out there and wrote and just I like to write and just different things that God was giving me. But he said, Son, fresh water. I asked for it. Come down in the middle of the river and drench me from my Yeah, glory, God. 
and bring glory under the new sire to thy name, Lord, as we enter in, enter in this space. Fresh water, come down. Yes, Lord, I believe you're right in this space, Lord, to do the impossible, Lord, to move by your presence over the airways, Lord, and meet the needs of the people, Lord, and I thank you for it, in your son's holy name, Yeshua the Messiah, the Holy One, our men and our men, you know. This year that we're ending, I tell you, we've seen so many miracles over the airways, you know. I mean, people that were, that had um, asthma and cancer and and um, um, problems with joints and limbs and um, a heart disease and dementia. Oh, man. And I'm telling you, totally healed. I mean, listen, I'm talking about Yehovah healed them where, you know, they took them off medication and all that kind of stuff. And so, and people with houses and things like that. And it wasn't for me to get up and give them a microphone and tell them, you know, tell what God did and all that kind of stuff. No, just the presence of God. See, when you're in the space called God and you have a God experience and God begins to expose himself to you, you know, it's like being a clamps of that rock. Oh, Shabbat. I can't let you look on my face, but I allow my back parts to pass by you and you'll be able to see my glory. Oh, Shabbat. See, we're complete when we have that experience and God exposes himself to us. And I know that's what God is going to do for us over these hours. I tell you, he just did some wonderful, wonderful, wonderful things. I tell you, over this last 12 months, and it's just been a, it's just been a delight. It's been a delight. And then to usher me away, you know, one thing about being in the middle of the river, you know, and going out into that ocean, but listen, kid, nobody get to you. That's right. 
Amen. I mean, listen, ain't nobody walking on there to disturb you, to distract you. You just out there. Oh, Shabbat. And it's nothing like when you anchor. Oh, Shabbat. God shows you where to anchor. Oh, Shabbat. And you know why you're anchoring. The boat floats, but it turns this way and then it turn that way, depending on the current. And you're just out there. You're just out there, and, and and I mean, you're just out there, you know, looking at the eagles and the different the different species and God's different creation, and it's, you're just out there. And so this this has been a great time, and we're we're looking for God to do some great things uh, over the next few uh, days here. So I want you guys to tell some friends and and tell them to tune in, and I promise to. Um, just to pour out everything that we have that God would meet the needs of you, his people, wherever you are today, God is going to do it. I know one thing for sure, just to God be true and he will see you through and it shall be for you as God has promised. It shall be for you as God has promised. You have been made and prepared for the certainties of God. And what that means is there are certain things that are going to go on in this span of life that only you can do. huh? Let me tell you something. Only you can do it. Listen, God has purposed you to do it. And, and, and no matter what happens, whatever, whatever comes, listen, I don't, you know, I know how the enemy comes and tries and knock up and, and take this this, that, and the other, but let me tell you something, that just means God's going to come another way, because there's certain things that only you can do in this realm, in this space, and you have been made, prepared, God has made you, and he's prepared you for his certainties, it's so certainly, it's so must happen, I should have both seen it, it's got to happen, amen, you know, as even as we see miracles, and when you, when you, when you get into something like this, uh, prophet, you know, unfortunately, well, fortunately, or the blessing is it is God takes you like he, he set me up. He took me out in the water by myself. And then when he brought me in, guess what? I was by myself again <laughs> because he isolates you because there's certain things as you were even speaking that can become distractions. And, you know, you don't know what's going on, but God is in control. And I know one thing that we have all been made and prepared for the certainties of God. Amen. So listen, I'm going to play a little music and I'm going to come right back to you. Stay tuned. God bless you. God bless you, prophet. I love you. Love you too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.